Yeah, welcome to uh, lecture four, video two. And uh, we have a uh, case and it's Cookie Cats. So uh, Cookie Cats is a mobile game puzzle uh, developed by Tactile Entertainment. And uh, in this game, uh, a player has to connect at least three tiles like these uh, of the same color to advance to the next level. Okay, so it's a leveled game. So as the game progresses, uh, players encounter gates that force them to wait, either make an in-app purchase or maybe watch an ad. Okay. <clears throat> so this game has about 800 plus apparently amazing levels and uh, let's see what we can do for tactile entertainment okay so the first uh, gate is at level 40 okay uh, that's the current state and the company is deciding whether to move it to level 30 okay <coughs> sorry so there has to be um, like a benefit of a change right so will moving the first gate to level 30 cause an in increase in players use of the game okay probably here not there uh, so that's our question okay so we have two measures we can gather from the players and that's the number of game rounds that a player plays during the first 14 days after installation okay so uh, that is like a real number okay and um, I don't know if you hear it, but they are constructing something out my, outside my window. So this is a real number, or actually it's a natural number because it's counting. And uh, with this, we can uh, make an average, okay? So uh, this is like a difference in means okay the foundation for a difference in means what about uh, the player retention well it's an indicator equal to one if the player comes comes back to the app seven days after uh, installing so it's either a yes or a no okay so it's a one if the player comes back and zero if the player does not come back so it's like a uh, proportion which is between zero and one, right? So this is a proportion, okay? So uh, what would the data look like? So the data would look like uh, maybe player ID. And well, you would have a table 256, okay? Player number 256. And this would be, for example, the uh, number of rounds, okay? So this would be, for example, 43. And then you would have uh, retention, okay? And for example, this player, player uh, with ID number 256, uh, played 43 rounds and yes, that player came back seven days after installing. Okay, and player 472 uh, played 13 rounds and did not come back after seven days. Okay, so um if we look here uh what is the population of interest 
it's all new and future users of the game <coughs> sorry why don't we include the old users of the game well if you pick one sample in in historic time and one sample in future time then or just at different points in time then the the difference in time can hide a confounding variable okay so uh, that's why we would like uh, for for our samples to be taken at, at basically the same period of time okay <coughs> so the population parameters we are interested in uh, well uh, if we for it's it's actually both the the number of game rounds and the player retention uh, but we'll focus on the game rounds for now and these are the population parameter for um, gate set at 30 and gate set at 40 okay so we have two populations and we would like to know if there is a difference between these okay so this is just an average okay so mu is an average the population average but we can't observe these remember uh, so what we have to do is first to state an hypothesis okay and the first gate is currently at gate 40 okay that's the status quo so will moving it to gate 30 cause we are interested in the cause here cause an increase in the average number of game runs played so uh, what we are interested in is is the change okay are we going to change or not and what I like to do is to find the 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 hypothesis uh, which which will induce me to make a change okay so H not can be like no change okay and uh, h1 can be like action okay so uh, if you uh, make an action it's because um, setting the gate at 30 caused an increase in the average number of games so if if uh, mu 30 the average at gate 30 for gate 30 is higher than the average num number of games games played with game uh, the gate at uh, level 40 uh, then you would change right and uh, the the status quo it's H naught it's if if the change makes the players uh, play less uh, then you would have no change right and uh, so if you just subtract the the uh, average with gate at level 40 from each side then you get the difference okay uh, which is more practical to to test okay so why do we have mu 30 less than or equal to mu 40 as our null hypothesis instead of uh, mu 30 greater than or equal to mu 40 
Well, it's it's because um, if if we look at the sample variance here, and this is zero, zero change, then for for a change to be implemented, you would have to have a really good incentive, okay? So uh, the, the average games after the change has to be a lot better than, than the status quo. So the difference here, the difference, have to be uh, really high, okay? For you to, to actually believe that the data says that you should make a change. It's like um, you're studying, right? And you have a certain study regime. And if, if you read about a different study regime, which uh, gives you the same results as your current regime, you're not going to invest the effort to change, right? You say, well, what I have is, is just as good. So the new regime have to be quite good for you to change, right? So um, that's why we, we always have this, this no change condition at H naught, okay? And the the H naught always cons contains the cutoff. Like a nice way to 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 think of it is like a, my previous example that if if something is as good as what you have now, there's no point in changing, right? So um, let's see. Uh, what about the hypothesis? Uh, da -da -da. Hypothesis, I just need my notes. Um, well, uh, we have uh, sample data from two groups, from two populations, okay? Uh, we need um, the sample of players who encounter the first gate at level 40 and we need a sample from players who encountered the first gate at level 30, okay? So then we have one sample from the two populations, okay? And the ways you can get these data is either by running an experiment, <coughs> uh, and that makes sure that, that um, you isolate a specific cause, okay? And the cause in this case is the gate level. And you hold everything else equal among the subjects, right? Among the two samples. So you can run an experiment or you can obtain random samples from two po populations, which means that you just um, sample uh, at random from from players who encounter the first gate at level 40 and players who encounter the first gate at level 30. Okay. Um, and the third way you can uh, get data is just to compare two sets of observations. Well, um, this is uh, not experiment, and it's not random. And uh, there are a lot of uh, problems with with this third method, and that's also that you might have, or probably will have, a lot of confounding variables. 
So the best way to uh, get a cause and effect is by by using experiments. Okay. And so so the the sample. is either gate 30 or gate 40, right? So, uh, then we can actually take a break. So, see you next time.